minutes from the October meeting. Could I get a motion so moved. to approve so minutes? I second. Okay. Lisa's All in second. favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So. Treasurer's report. Uh, the treasurer, uh, uh, Ron Rogers, is not here. I will um, give the treasurer's report, uh, which is located uh, behind um, <coughs> tab two. Um, nothing um, of note. It's, uh, in particular, we did receive funds from the Kenilworth Public Library. Um, expenses are pretty much on track, except um, we did spend a lot of money for LDD bulbs, which in my not particularly extensive experience, really don't last forever the way they're supposed to. <laughs> right, but the cost has come way, 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 yeah. way down. Yeah. Um, and they do last a lot longer than regular so, light bulbs. And they'll so save, we, save money, so. So that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's the concept. Um, and then located behind tab three, um, well, I guess we should get any questions on the treasurer's report? Then we've got bills and salaries located behind tab, tab three. Can I get a motion to approve the bills and salaries? I motion to approve the Bid? bills and salaries. Okay. Motion, so motion. Okay. A second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded, bills and salaries. Is that um, roll call? Is it, pardon me? Is that That's a roll, a roll call. It's a roll call. Trustee Johnson. Aye. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Wolf, yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Yes. Okay, uh, attachment four. Um, we have a patron ban, and you'll also notice behind attachment four is a <coughs> revision oh, to five. the patron. Five. Um, four is the patron ban, and then five is the revision to the policy that um, will provide a little bit more flexibility, perhaps, in terms of dealing with these shorter bans that need to be put in place, but would give Heather the opportunity um, to do a 30-day a, a ban. But in the, but in any event, the first ban is the information is, is it located and attached meant for. Uh, Heather, you are recommending a, um, I'm sorry, how long are they? This one's a three-month. A three-month mm -hmm. ban. Uh, you have the facts. Um, are there any comment, discussion? If not, could I get a motion to? Um, so moved. Okay, could I get a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Then we move on to um, revision of the of the ban, giving um, the director the um, authority to do a 30-day ban without bringing it before the board. Um, so any longer ban would still, for example, like we had here, would a three-month ban would still come before the board, but a shorter ban. Now, in a sense, under some circumstances, Heather, the director already had a de facto, depending on the timing of things, but you could have, it was a ban till the next meeting, so it could be like 24 hours, or it could be, you know, days. almost a month. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I'm recommending a change. So, right. in order to sort of get a uniform way of dealing this and possibly reducing, you know, using a shorter term ban on a more um, flexible like, basis. Why don't you talk a little bit about the 30 day, 30 day one and where you see it working? Yeah, so I see it as, a, as an important accountability and behavioral tool. Um, I think 
banning, um, nobody likes to do it, but it is important um, for the collective enjoyment of the library that we are able to have some mechanism for people who are being disruptive. Um, I changed it to continually or highly because sometimes it's chronic disruptions that are kind of low grade but uh, are causing discomfort or uh, significant um, anxiety on behalf of staff or patrons, that kind of thing. And then there's also highly disruptive, which could be a one-time incident, depending on what it is, where tempers just flare and it just explodes. Um, and so that's one change. The other is the 30-day, which allows me to use it more as that behavioral tool that um, we, f we feel that this type of behavior was a one-time thing that is not in danger of being repeated, um, or we feel that we need to make a statement to a chronic situation where people haven't been held accountable before and we think that this will um, bring people back on track. So I like to use it as a way to let people know that you're part of a community and you're not behaving appropriately for this community, uh, but I want to give you a chance to remedy that without it being like a big, you know, goes before the board, right. uh, major serious violation. I would certainly bring those to the board as needed. So if we're talking assault or, you know, um, vandalism, those kinds of things, you would certainly see the longer term things, but then you wouldn't see every single behavior thing that comes across our path. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if it goes longer than, say, say, well, say somebody does something, okay, they're out for 30 days, and then on the 31st day, they come in, they do the same thing again. See, at that point, I think it should come before the board because obviously the 30-day did not have the deterrent effect that you were looking for. Right. Correct. But then that ratchets it up to the next level, which right. is it's a good tool to have. Like, okay, we gave, but to give, uh, give me the discretion to do the first warning shot, right. so to speak, and then you only will see uh, when that doesn't work okay. or if it's egregious kind of behavior. Right, but yeah. I do think that I feel like if there's something that I feel like we should be made aware, not that we're going to have to vote on it, but that in your director's report you should say, okay, I had to ban the patron this month. I mean, I, I feel like that information should sure. go to the board. Um, okay. But you, you would have the discretion to do it um, but that, and I don't need, know that it needs to be in the policy manual, but that the expectation would be that that information would be passed on to the board um, at the next meeting. Well, it's also a question of how right. much detail you want. Do you want right. incident reports? I, you know, I don't know what you guys prefer. I think um, a lot not, of these... Not a lot. I for mean, mine or just... Tell us what happened. Yeah. Person, individual banned for this for 30 days. Yeah. 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 First In offense. the director's report. Yeah. First you offense. Do, this, do, do, do. Right. Okay. Yeah, you and, don't. And why, right? I mean, why they were banned. And why. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so could I get a motion? Did we have a motion on the floor to approve this change? I will, into the I will motion though to okay. make that change. Can I get a second? Second. Second. It's been moved and second. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And we'll work on this and see if this works. You and I have had some conversation, too, about Has there been an increase? Because I don't remember ever seeing this many. Well, that's life. because yeah, <coughs> because I use it as a behavior tool. Okay. That's Yeah. And there, there have been a lot of things that have happened over time. Most of the bands you've seen, they've been causing problems for years, <laughs> uh, but have never been banned because the ban, getting it to a board level was a big, you know, right. deal. And ideally right. a ban isn't th such a big deal. It's a common right. behavioral tool that helps the library function. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the way I see yeah. it. And, yeah. and Heather and I have talked too about possibly, you know, for some patrons who do have issues or developmental or mental disabilities that, you know, trying to work on strategies, perhaps appointments to come to the, uh, up the library rather than, you know, so that just ways of working. Right, because I'm sure this is taking a chunk of staff time, like a very tiny part of patrons is taking 
a yeah, lot of a disproportionate yeah. amount of staff yeah. time, right. and yeah. then I think it's I think it's it's a good idea for you to have some leeway to deal with them. And so, would you do lesser than thirty days, or would you think mainly like if somebody? And what right. would be your first line of attack? A lot of times it would be 30 days, but you know, if it's a minor it, and it's their first offense, I would not want to do a 30 day ban. Mm -hmm. You know, I would want to try a week. Right. You know, so I think I think it does depend on the circumstance. Right. And then it's tough because the staff has to enforce it. Like they have to say, oh, here that person's here. And you have to communicate it. Yesterday. Right, exactly. But, but you know, we've got to have something. Right. It, because it is the goal, of course, is to have it be pleasant for everyone. Well, and I like to have patrons either call me or meet with me, you know, near the end of their band so that we can mm -hmm. talk about it and, right. and I can lay out expectations for future behavior. I think that can be really effective as well. So so thank you. I think this gives us yeah. some, some things to work with to, to help our staff. And then one more, just one more question. Um, unfortunately, in the world we live in today, even when things seem innocuous, sometimes safety becomes mm -hmm. much more threatened either to a building or people or you know, to you as the director. Do you have anything in place to kind of protect yourself or the building or the staff or the patrons? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, we, we do a person in charge training. We had a training a few months ago and we'll continue to do that. Safety training as well. Um, our monitors are always called in to any sort of disagreement. Um, I talk to staff over and over and over again, always, always, always have a witness. And I do it as well myself. If I'm called downstairs to handle a patron I, uh, behavior issue, I always call in um, a second mm -hmm. um, just because it's, it's, it's helpful. It protects um it protects us, it protects the institution, it protects the patron, right. you know, it's, it's well, just that best like from that a litigious way. Stamp, from a legal standpoint, what I'm, what I'm saying is if someone all of a sudden, even though it seems innocuous, if they peel the label off of a book, but then right. you try to confront them about and it, you confront and them. They, they pull out a knife. You know, right. Yeah, so. That's when, yeah, we, uh, we try to get our monitors when we can. Yeah. That's another reason I wanted to increase our monitor hours. Um, we are seeing just a lot more people in general in the library, which means just the more volume you okay. have, the more behavior issues you're going to have. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a fact. We call the police too. Absolutely. So, and so there is, there is a, that's what, there is a right. step at one point if something if something is perceived to be at a certain threat level, then Absolutely. the police are automatically contacted. And yeah, and we're there. talking about other things that we want to try, like um, security buttons or uh, a signal of some mm -hmm. sort Do that staff lock? can use to like call in another staff and say, hey, I need some assistance here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can the doors lock? Because I know mean? with active shooters, a lot of times when someone comes and goes on rampage, do you have the ability to lock some certain doors, the different S yes. sections of the doors? Yes, some of them. We haven't had an active shooter training yet on my watch, but I hope to have one um, because I, I myself don't know you know which doors lock and, and which areas would be the best i think our police department can help us with that yeah again it's, yeah. it's, it's a world we're in but hopefully we don't have to deal with these things but just so, at least so at least we yeah. have at least some Prepared. awareness and some yeah. pre preparation because um, i know they do it in the yeah. schools you know yeah um and what does person in charge mean in that context it means the person is in charge when i'm not here oh right and and so they handle Everything, behavior right. issues, building issues, right. patron complaints, whatever it happens mm -hmm. to Closing be. the library in Closing snow. Closing the library in snow. Because <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I've talked to, yeah. it's, so it's frequently it Gail. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so she call, she has called me and say, okay. Yeah. It's usually one of the managers, but not always. Sometimes it's the, a library, uh, one mm -hmm. of the full-time library. Okay, just so you charge, know, so. like when you're not here, X as person in charge. There's always a person yeah. in charge, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. And we do have it all written down in our procedures and our guidelines, so staff knows, and those are at every service desk, so they know who to call and right. what to do in the different situations. So, But, um, yeah, that's part of our per capita is for everyone to be involved in safety. Yeah. And I, I think... the safety training. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> There's always more to know, and it's important to keep talking about it. Which one did mm -hmm. you take? I did a lecture... Um, because of the issues that we've had with patrons and dealing with difficult patrons. And um, it's, um, it was very interesting. Um, it was for, uh, it was directed at a library that I think was more urban and probably yeah. had a, was both larger and had a broader array of, um, 
you know, type patrons and stuff. I mean, we're very suburban and, you know, pretty. So some of it didn't seem. Um, as appropriate or relevant. Time. Well, it didn't seem as relevant, but yet, and I sorted through some of the incidents, and I thought, yes, there were some good suggestions there. Okay. So. Okay. Um, okay. okay. So we've adopted the uh, pay, the revision, and we're moving on then to item um, C on the action items, which is the ordinance uh, number 2017-18, which is located behind tab Why 6. Why don't you give us a diff another copy of this? Those are the older ones you can compare. Last so year's. Last year's so this okay. is this year's. This is last year's. And this is the year before that. Um, and as you know, this has come before us several times, and we are, in fact, reducing um, our levy by this, this as, as uh, outlined behind, put forth in behind tab uh, 6, where the levy reduces um, our revenue by 2.5%. Been taken mindful of some of the information actually that we've received in terms of the amount of surplus that uh, operating.